Hello everybody and welcome, this is Gurganir here and today we're gonna be starting a secondary series of another Mountain Blade Warband mod called Banner Page. Nice. And uh, this is not a total conversion mod, this is just an improvement for the native, uh, pretty similar to Floris, but it adds more uh, animations and new features, uh, new items of course, and it improves the visuals and textures and that stuff. Oh my god! Wow! So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting mod. We'll be trying to test it a little bit. And by the way, the other uh, series, A New Dawn, will continue. Uh, maybe not for very long, but you'll see in the next episode of A New Dawn. But anyway, uh, let's, let's just, without further ado, jump into a new game. To begin here, this is something that I really, really respect when mods do this thing because you don't want to choose who your father is or what your childhood, early childhood was and that stuff. You just need some specific stats. And this is why this kind of feature is really cool. That is awesome. Uh, we'll be using throwing weapons and I'll tell you why after we start. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I will be using double-handed or two-handed weapons. We'll go with Bolam, uh, and I'll tell you why in a second also. Uh, let's go with Iron Flash and Power Strike and Riding, of course. This is, this is by the way, is not the uh, final stats. This is just the basics to uh, build your uh, character on. So yeah, we can start uh, as a uh, faction ruler or independent ruler. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of options here, but uh, for, I've, I've actually tested some of them and I think I'll go with the first option, which is the bandit leader. Why would you do that? And uh, the reason why, because you start actually with uh, some decent amount of money. So yeah, let's start as a bandit leader and uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, allow me to quit, please. And then we're gonna be called Sam. And don't ask me why I'm I'm I'm, I'm naming him Sam. He looks like uh, you smite Sam, you know. But this is not the case. Anyway, um, I think yeah, I think this is kind of cool start, you know. Uh, or let's increase charisma more than intelligence. Yeah, so that we can have more leadership and trade. Uh, which can be useful, you know. Increase more in looting. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, maybe more prisoner management and power throw. Yeah, that looks cool to me. And more polearm and throwing weapons. And uh, the reason why I'm not using two-handed weapons is that two-handed weapons in this mod kind of suck, to be honest. That sucks more than anything that has ever sucked before. But <laughs> let's not talk about that. For now, for now. Gorilla Gorilla, if you're watching, please add more to hand weapons. Anyway, we start with five trash troops, but nothing too crazy. Uh, we got a book, which is cool. And we got a horse and a mole, which we will be using. And uh, kind of average stuff, you know, but we got a decent amount of money and so that we can, I think, I think we can start buying an enterprise, but let's try and see something here. Uh, study important reference material and these are the kind of in-game Wikipedia. And this mod is kind of very different than the, uh, than a new dawn. You'll see here that the Sweden Knights, their stats are kind of strange. Level 28 and their strength uh, only 15 <laughs> and proficiency is around 150 or 130. This is kind of strange for high tier troop, but uh, they have decent equipment, of course, but uh, their proficiencies and stats are a little bit strange. And these are the elite troops. They have a little bit more proficiencies. But again, nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, this is this will be always the case in every single uh, faction. You'll see that their proficiency is very low. And even the elites, 
nothing more than 165, which is okay, but this is very or, or, or completely different approach than in a new dawn. So yeah, and uh, the Kurgis, I think, I think they are absolutely the weakest. It is what it is. Uh, the troop tree is not that great, and their equipment, uh, uh, equipment and stats are not that great. Somebody, oh, he needs oh. some milk. Uh, even the elites, you know, they're using uh, okayish weapons, but their stats still. Mm, they're still, I think they are easy to be taken out. The Northern Lands are kind of cool, other than from that Berserker, awful armor. <laughs> but their stats, look at this, 220. Yeah, this is this is cool troop, I think. At least a little bit strong. And this Polong is also cool. And if we look at the Huskulls here, uh, a little bit better than, than the Suede Knights. But this is, of course, because they are not mounted. But uh, yeah, again, every single faction here is kind of uh, tuned down a little bit so that nothing is very overpowered over other factions, you know? This is this is actually a cool way of balancing things out uh, in the long term, in my opinion. Because in, in, in New Dawn, once you've reached to kind of mid to, to end game, you are in a very good position and, uh, and you don't need to think about anything, actually. You just play with what you have of decent troops and decent equipment and you just YOLO your way. And you'll see that in the next episode, by the way, in, in New Dawn. Anyway, even with the elites here, nothing to write home about. The Serenids, I think, I think they are the best faction. They have quite decent, uh, decent horses. But again, some of the horses, even of the top tier troops, uh, can be really weak. And if we look at the Mamluk, yeah, eh, nothing too great. And even the horses, they have some decent horses, but one of the horses can be taken out quite easily. And this is kind of strange. Let's look at the mercenaries, because they have quite decent features here. Uh, Nefertum Raider. These guys have some grenades. Yeah, these guys are really, really amazing. Uh, but their, uh, their, their, their equipments are not that great to protect them, you know. They are kind of offensive, but yeah. I think I think the addition of these guys that can deal area damage can be cool. And we have elephant troops, you know. Asian war elephant with a lot of charge, 42 charge. By the way, also this crossbow is very good. Like, very good. I, I may actually try it in... in you know, while while sieging or something. I also want to search for this uh, cataphract that can be upgraded from Caravan Gods, because they have this lens that is called Contos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but this is the best lens in the game, and they have pretty decent equipment overall. Uh, if you look at at all of their equipments, they 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 are quite decent. Uh, and yeah, this is the normal uh, troop tree, you know. Of the farmers and that stuff and then the outlaws you have first and second tier and then you have the leader so mm, we'll be looking at the leaders just to get an idea about uh, what these enemies will be will will look like you know uh, bows and throwing weapons yikes yikes okay uh, steady bandits are already difficult so I'm not fighting these guys. The Sea Raiders. Again, throwing weapons and bows. So this is going to be a little bit challenging. And by the way, this, this mod, overall experience while, while testing, it's, it's a little bit more challenging than uh, a new dawn, for example. But yeah, let's uh, see something like Mountain Bandits. Mountain Bandits, they have throwing weapons and bow also. Uh, Okay, okay. But I think I think we can fight some mountain bandits later. Uh, and they have some pirates, which have grenades. And these grenades, these type of grenades, are actually better than the other ones with an Afrotron uh, raiders. And even the looters can be upgraded to bandits, and from bandits 
to Braggins. And uh, yeah, they are not that tough, but still an upgrade. And they can actually have horses. I don't know why are these guys, but all of them are upgraded to Dark Knights, which have absolutely great stats and equipment. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Uh, we can see here even the Slave Chief with kind of decent equipment, but yeah, meh, <laughs> you know. Sword Sisters with awful horses. They will be dead in no time. Of course, they have better equipment as an armor, but yeah, nothing to try at home about. Okay, look at this. The variety of one-handed weapons. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Never look. Some cool looking, even unique uh, items. Oh, that's nasty. Balta. Balta is actually a word in Arabic, by the way. Anyway, uh, I want you to look at the amount of variety of one-handed weapons here. And uh, look at this Morning Star. This is a one-handed Morning Star with 33 piercing damage, 96 speed, and it can crush through blocks. Pretty amazing, huh? Look at this. Two-handed weapons. One Morning Star, which is actually one-handed, two-handed which is actually act as a one-handed on, on the horseback with only five more damage and less one speed and it's unbalanced. And by the way, this is all the two-handed weapons. There's no other pages or anything. These are all the two-handed weapons. God f***ing damn it! Mm, kind of frustrating for me. You know me. You know how I love two-handed weapons. This is, can be the best blunt weapon and it's a quest item. I don't know how to get it, but yeah. And these two are also kind of similar, and both of them can crash through blocks, which I really, really respect. But other options, if you look at all of that, I don't think we will find anything that is better than this sword or this saber. 44 cutting and 96 speed. Compared with any other swords, you will not get a better deal. Even if, if, if you have more damage, you will sacrifice a lot of the speed. So, in my opinion, this saber is the best. But two hand weapons in in general in this mod is kinda are kinda on the weak side. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> so and this is why I'm not mm, you know I'm kinda on the on the fence here. And these are all the bull arms. The pull arms are kinda cool. Like for example, look at this. This is actually a very good uh pull arm. It has 125 reach, so it's kinda long two hand weapon. But yeah, with decent speed, decent cutting damage. This, this is also really fast. And uh, yeah, this is also a really good axe in my opinion. With two-handed weapon, it's actually slower than the pull arm. Huh. What? How? Why? I have so many questions! I don't know. I don't know. You judge you. You judge guys. It has the same cutting damage, but if you use it as a full arm, it's actually faster than using a two-handed weapon. And uh, yeah, because of all these options, I think I may try something, you know, uh, that can crash through blocks. <laughs> actually, the pole hammer can't crash through blocks. This is kind of strange, right? <laughs> if you think about it, this is kind of strange. But anyway, we have a lot of options so that we can test around without being uh, without being so critical about everything. I'm looking for the Contus. Yeah, here it is. The Contus is a lance. It, it, it's, it's very long, so yeah. I'll definitely try to go for these decent weapons and uh, see how it'll go, really. And for the ranged weapons, the really, really good aspect of this mod, uh, for me especially, is the introduction of area damage, like these naft arrows. They are explosive arrows that deal damage on impact. Uh, and, and by the way, there are only six of them so that nobody can abuse them, you know? So they try, or the modeler try to balance everything. Even here, the grenades are, there are only two of them. Uh, naft grenades with 
a little bit more radius, but Greek fire grenades uh, deal more damage with less radius. And there are only two of them. Again, they try to balance everything, not to abuse the mechanics of area damage. And if you look at all of the ranged weapons are actually kind of decent and good looking overall. And uh, by the way, the mod has, um, or, or on the mod page, you'll find a lot of videos about slings and, 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 and cool weapons, to be honest. I really want to try this net, by the way. And uh, yeah, I don't know what weapons we will be using, except from the grenades, of course. But uh, I may try to use some sort of a crossbow, like, uh, like yeah, like this one. This is this is actually really good. There are slings here, and uh, yeah, this this crossbow also can be act like a machine gun, you know, reloaded every seven times, something like that. But yeah, cool looking shields also. But I'm not a big fan of shields. These 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 look cool, you know. But I'm not a shield user myself. You know me, helms and armors and boots. Gauntlets, pretty cool, but we'll be looking at the horses. And uh, this horse is actually look very cool, but it's 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 weak. But yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll be looking for a horse called Champion. Yeah, Arabian Champion Charger. Forty-two speed and sixty armor with thirty in charge. This is this is really decent. Even even if you compare it with other chargers, uh, maybe they have more health or more charge, but in my opinion, the speed is is the most important thing here. An Asian war elephant, an African war elephant. African is much faster with more charge, which can be cool. And these animals you can uh, hunt for the loot. Which is actually good. Uh, but we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Boar are the slowest, so we may try to, to hide to, to hunt some boars. But anyway, we've spent a lot of time uh, experiencing with this stuff. That's by the way, I will link uh, the mod in the description just in case you wanted to test it. Uh, so by all means download it and take your shot. Okay, uh, right now our priority is to get a decent lance and a decent horse. Throwing hunting spear, 90 cutting damage, but only one of it. <laughs> Again, in this mod they try to balance uh, the damage with the quantity, you know. Oh yeah, uh, I can't use that, unfortunately, but yeah. Let's try and uh, buy an Enterprise. Look at this. You can see that the textures and, and graphics are a little bit improved. And even the lighting is better than in a New Dawn, for example. If you compare the two mods. And by the way, in a New Dawn videos, I usually fix colors. I will not fix the colors here. Because it, it looks cool. It looks lively, you know. Uh, not like in a New Dawn. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. But anyway, let's should try and buy me in. Okay, we still need to do something. Okay, okay. Madam, this is also another thing added to this mod where you can entertain your troops or entertain your uh, yourself. Then by all means. But, but let's not talk about that. Again, nothing sexual. Uh, okay, I don't know, I will, I will be, still be looking for a lance and sword, a lance and horse. There is a tournament in Oxhall, so yeah, let's go there. Oops, I've speed traveled. I see nothing, nothing. <laughs> I'm not cheating. Forrest Dennis, no, I'm not fighting these, I'm not fighting these right now. These, uh, deer can be hunt, but... They are very fast, and I don't have the horse to hunt them. So yeah, let's check for a lance. Decent lance, please. Okay, two-hand two weapon is cool, but 
I'm in an urgent need for lands. Mm. Fine light lands. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't think that there's anything here that is worth buying. So let's check the horses. Uh, timid courser. This actually can be cool. It's it's fast, but uh, it's very expensive. Very very expensive for my likings. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check the tavern. Maybe we'll find a trader or something. Mm, okay. Let's not. Let's just walk around till the morning, and then uh, we will do the tournaments in the next episode. I thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.